your stats are divided up into smarts, boldness, creativity, charm, fun, and money. Mm. So my stats are six smarts, five boldness, three creativity, five charm, seven fun, and seven money. Uh, I, I think we all made charm our dump stat. Which is kind of ironic, given what we're trying to do here today. Actually, no, charm is a thing, but creativity is my dumb stuff. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you, you are a professional streamer. You. I'm going uh. to boost my creativity. Yeah, uh, Lab from my chat says they know you. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain plus two creativity. After that, you decide to look for a spot outside the school where to get some good sunbathing. But you fail to focus on your sunbathing since you see Scott and Miranda deep in conversation. Mm -hmm. Who wants to be Scott? It shouldn't be Scar because you're trying to date him. Ivor, do you want to take on the role of Scott Hal? I, I guess I'll take on the role of Scott. Be the himbo <laughs> you were always meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> it's a sports game thing, Miranda. I think I'm a good boy, but there's something that just gets me growling when I see the opposing team. Uh, Scar, I think you have to do it. No. I think so, because me and Aurora are both going first, so... No, I live for it. I'm here for it. Air people? <laughs> Just that that works so well with that face. <laughs> and then the fire kingdom attack. Oh god! Okay, I'm not I shouldn't be muted anymore. Everything's set to default because OBS hates me. Alright, I'm ready. All right, you okay? Do you okay? Do you need a minute? You I don't okay? know. Hey, hey, y'all, is there anything else wrong with my stream? Um <laughs> Are the colors wonky? Or am I upside down? Am I, am I still muted? Do I sound like, do I sound like a man? Do I sound like a woman? Do I sound like a, a, a puppy? Fish What's person. going on? Let me know. Is it desktop audio? Yeah. Don't be like me. <laughs> Can you hear the people I'm collabing with? I think is a good question too. There we go. Can you hear the people? Do you hear the other people talking? Yeah, no. Maybe. Please tell Hopefully. me so I can, because before we move on, I need to make sure you can hear them too. Okay, they, yes, they can hear everybody. Okay, okay. good. Uh, sure. Yay! Okay, I'm Ooh, maybe actually, done with stuff. Hopefully, the people in my chat can hear everyone as well, because yeah. <laughs> fingers crossed. Y'all get but ready yes. for scuff too, electric boogaloo. All right, I'm ready to read. Please. His face, that delivery of the air people line. <laughs> I, I'm here for it. Yes, Scott. Obviously, the air people. I know I've told you about them before. They're the sworn enemy of the mer people, and they must all be destroyed if they refuse to accept our superiority. She's so angry. She is wow. angry. All of them? <laughs> that sounds really hard. <laughs> Miranda is the Fire Nation. She was the Fire Nation the whole time. It will be. They're a horrible, ruthless nation of feathery socialists who refuse to bend a knee no matter how many times my father invades. <laughs> they don't like guacamole, Scott. <laughs> they eat the crusts of their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Oh. <gasps> Oh no. They wear socks Ooh. with sandals. <laughs> socks with sandals? <laughs> Gross! And fanny packs. 
Oh, baby, baby. Those are cute. coming back, yeah. I mean, I didn't buy one, but apparently they're coming back, you know. <laughs> sure, <laughs> like, that's what people with fanny packs are trying thing. to get across. Oh, man. That's a pretty scary enemy, Miranda. What are the mer people going to do about it? That is a great question, Scott. We tried reasoning with them through bombs, chemical warfare, and torture, but they're entirely unreceptive. Hmm. <laughs> it's really weird that that wouldn't sway the air people, but maybe you can step in and help. Dave feels a bit Scott strange. Scott and probably have different takes today. on it's what uh, makes the best strategy would be. So think hard about what you pitch. Reach a truce, use your great cheerleading skills to put an end to this feud, or wipe them out. Make the air kingdom the mer kingdom by flooding the entire sky. Oh boy. It's crazy enough to work. <laughs> I'm creative cool. enough now, thanks to my, my lessons <laughs> of creativity by acting. <laughs> Why yes, of course. That's a brilliant idea, Arcane. It's almost as if you know the old adage from my kingdom. If you can't bring your enemy underwater to drown them in the Mer Kingdom, Bow to Miranda Vanderbilt. bring the Mer Kingdom to their kingdom and drown them there. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's a good adage, Miranda. Also, what's an adage? <laughs> I love how his, his like shocked and confused face is the same, where he could be going "woo" and you have no idea. It's Ooh. just the same face. <laughs> it's just a "woo." <laughs> He's got "yeah, baby" in his head. No time to explain, Scott. Let's start Operation Flood the Entire Sky. Here, take a bucket full of water. Glory to the Mer people. Glory to the Mer people. <laughs> we just hand it and he just goes running off. <laughs> <laughs> they both start throwing water into the sky, which I naturally know, falls onto the ground I'm again, sorry, forming a small puddle. <clears throat> hmm. In my mind, this worked differently. <laughs> no, Miranda, look! The water is covering like a third of an inch of the sky. Hi, Fluffy. That's the ground, Scott. <laughs> no, now that's underwater, and before it was above water. I do, Fluffy. So it Neither was technically part of the channel. sky. Just a very low part of the sky. Oh, I see. It is true. Let's fill the buckets. Sooner or later, we will fill the whole sky. You're right. Wink. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> yeah, I'm a glass half full guy. Or should I say, a sky half full guy. Wink. Oh how my god. How annoyed would you guys get if I start just saying wink instead of actually winking? How this is we... the man you're trying to date. Oh, you just said wink out loud? That's really charming. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are, are you charmed, Scar? Scar? Oh. I, I mean, are you charmed? I mean, yes, I might adopt adopt the habit. You know, you, you tend to pick up the, the, the social habits of the people you like. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> No time for compliments, Mary Arcane. Let's flood the skies. <laughs> Scott has got really into this. <laughs> you spend several hours throwing water into the sky with little to no effect. Still, it seems Miranda thinks you are a warfare genius. Huzzah! You gain plus two creativity and plus one boldness. Yeah, I'm sorry. Aurora, okay. you're up. Uh, <sighs> let's see. Yeah, Carmen, I'm really, I'm fun, really are you sorry your that I, I just, uh, I should have, you know, after uh, the last time I streamed yeah. on my on the <laughs> ASMR channel, I should have just switched it uh, when I finished. But I'm like, no, well, I'll do it. At least I'll remember. Money, so I'll remember. I change my attack strategy. Yeah, I just have the two. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. What was that? You have to move the dialogue on. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational yeah, speech well that fuels eclipse, your team spirit. Like, wait, leading you to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You get in plus two, chow. Okay, thanks. 
Out of the corner of your eye, you spot Scott and Miranda staring intently at a picture of a seahorse. Oh, no. oh. oh my god. The shorty shorts! Oh. <laughs> this looks like a killer seahorse, Miri. What are you so worried about? Uh, well, you see, one of my daddy's subjects gave me this horse as a gift. And, well, you've heard what they say, haven't you? <laughs> Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, Wait. What? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> what? Who are they? Why do, say, why do they say that? What's in there? I don't know! That is why I'm so distraught. I'm terrified that I will accidentally look into this gift horse's mouth and see... I have no idea where this is going. The what? A gross butt? Another tinier horse? A world without sport? I really hope it's another tinier horse, to be honest. That'd be awesome. Me too. Me too. I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Oh, oh come on, oh, Mary. God, you gotta find out. You've gotta find out for... Oh, what's that thing Miss Feratu is always talking about? Miss Feratu? Are you kidding me? That's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> I love it. Science? Hi, Stinky Bear. Yeah, for science. You gotta, right? You realize Scott's looking uh, to you for your opinion. They both are. What do you think Miranda should do? Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Sure Have you ever looked that look gift up. horse in the mouth? In fact, breed it with seahorses <laughs> to produce gift horses with your t with tiny <laughs> mouth. Um, look that gift horse right in its damn mouth. They only say not to because. They don't want you finding all the delicious mouth candy. <laughs> oh god. Uh hmm. I feel like this is the option that Morant wants. Probably. It's a C option, so possibly. I feel like this option involves money, so I'm gonna go for it. It's oh, smartness, but you, you see. Yeah. Miranda is clearly pleased by your suggestion. When you run into her the next day, all her previous anxiety seems to have gone. My nice, <laughs> shiny armor. I took your marvelous suggestion to the logical next level. I had my father's genetic wizards combine my gift horse with a sea urchin. That, that, yep. <laughs> Whatever horrible thing was lurking between those horse lips, they're now too tiny for me to see it. The horse is a little bit spiny now, but I think that just adds to his charm. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It's so cute. I can tell he loves it because of the deeply pained expression in his tiny watery eyes. <gasps> that works so well, you wonder why you wow. don't solve all your problems with genetic manipulation. You gain plus two creativity and plus one smarts. I'm a monster. Anyway. <laughs> uh, like, you be thinking dating Miranda? I no no. <laughs> oh no! See, I don't even know like what's because like being smarter is not like I don't think that's how I'm gonna win over the wolf boy. Hmm. Probably not. But I can't go to the gym now. No, you could go to the bathroom to get your boldness up. Your boldness is low. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Good call. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. Hell no, I don't. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> I see. By skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. Aww. You, gain, you give zero shits, but gain plus two boldness. Yes. Nice. Scott and Miranda seem to be arguing about something. Your sweet meditation skills are clearly needed. Mediation I, Is skills. this where we find out that Scott and Miranda are just going to go to the prom together? Like, <laughs> they're spending a lot of time together. Apparently, they're just, they're just always together. It, it's because their heads are empty and they have no thoughts. Okay. 
You're actually you're not wrong. <laughs> no, I know our football team is called the Spooky High Spooky Monsters Who Spook, but who also play sports. But who's our mascot? Oh, that oh, was me. <laughs> our mascot? Oh, dang, you're right. We don't have one. Ooh, what about Misha the mermaid? Mermaids are monsters. No way. Too girly. Try this. Wally the werewolf. <laughs> Why is it gotta be a werewolf? We're the monsters, not the werewolves. Okay, we're not the mermaids either, Miranda. <laughs> like... <laughs> you leave Miranda alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Problematic fave Miranda at it again. Yeah, well, we're not the mermaids either. Oh god, I'm already siding with him before he speaks. Okay. <laughs> Match made in heaven. Apparently. Hmm. Maybe the problem is that the team name is trying to cover a huge, diverse group of people with a single label. No, <laughs> coach is never wrong. We're just Hi, not everybody. thinking hard enough. Oh my god, Think. look at him. Think. Think. He's using the Winnie the Pooh strategy. See if it pays Aww. off. <laughs> hey, you. You look like a hard thinker. What mascot should we use for our team? He's on the children's show now, where, you know, they turn to the screen to ask the child at home, what should we pick? Okay, easy. We'll just genetically engineer a cross between every kind of monster at the school. Head of a werewolf, tail of a mermaid, hair of a medusa, angst of a vampire. We'll call it Abe the Abomination. Or just find a regular human, dress him up in a business suit, and make him the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Corporate greed. That's the real monster. Oh, why is this one hard? Hold on. Well, as I proved earlier, or was it? No, it wasn't me. Sorry, it was Aurora. But genetic modification is always the answer. Yeah. Well, the other maybe, thing but the other one just sounds like you. like more of like a smart existential yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can always, if you don't know who uh, would enjoy which answer, you can always just go with the answer that you think you have the mo more, bleh, most most yeah, points stats. for. Mm. I can walk well today. So none you of You speak them. good. Okay. I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna go with the first one. Damn so it. smart. Fuck! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay, you went with genetic modification? Man! Yeah, I went with the genetic... Uh, okay. Finally, oh, an I idea like that represents the true diversity of our school. We can use Daddy's gene lab. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, it just means you have to commit to joining Miranda with us. It's gonna be a three-way no! race. <laughs> a three-way, you say? Um, no! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's see. In order to fit all the monster parts in... Oh my god, what is this phrasing? The mascot will have to be about 100 feet tall. <laughs> Covered in nightmarish appendages and moist tentacles. See? What it... Oh. Why? <laughs> oh, this is getting weird. <laughs> Which I'm means it shall like... provide great shade on hot game days. Yeah, sure, that's what it's going to provide, Miranda. Okay. The tentacles <laughs> can hold umbrellas. Huzzah. Wow, she made it wholesome. Nice save. The... Good save, Miranda. It's just going to be there in constant pain. It's just going to be a blue bar. Yeah, yes, because deadly bar! genetic experiments are always the shortcut Kurt, to a girl's heart. Uh, <laughs> pending. Uh, you may gain plus two smarts and plus one boldness. I'm sorry, y'all. I really wanted to pick the uh, the the werewolf answer. I thought the other no. one was too smart. I'm sorry. You can double down. We just need to double down on Scott now. You might be able to still make it. All right, what Ivor, am I doing? How am I gonna? You do have this? seven smarts, seven boldness, four creativity, three charm, five mm. fun, and seven okay, money. I love Monster High. I Ooh, wish Monster okay, High dolls okay, were a thing okay. when I was a little girl. I would have so, been all about. If you those. go to the library, it'll later. increase your money. If you go to the outdoors, it increases your fun, and class mm -hmm. will increase your smarts. Because everything else. Sorry, is I'm so snuffly today. Bottom. I don't know what's wrong with me. Mm -hmm. I want to be. I want to be more fun. Look at the sweet dance moves. Oh, that yeah. day during recess, you start a half-hour raid that goes full crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. <laughs> Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. 
You gain plus two fun. Yeah. <clears throat> you spot Vera and Polly discussing something. You've got to get in on this conversation. It's bound to be something nasty. Oh. <laughs> oh. So, who wants who? Oh, she goes, hi! Uh, I'll take Polly if Gar wants sure. to take Vera okay. or we can switch. Okay. Anyway. Hey! 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 What? What? Are you going to that party tonight? At Dale the Mummy's Crypt? <clears throat> the dog star has aligned with Venus or something? <laughs> His parents are beings of pure energy for the weekend. He's got the place entirely to himself. I, I might stop by. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so listen. Scott's gonna be there too, and I totally want to spike his drink. Are we doing what now? <laughs> We're doing the illegal. <laughs> Not oh, welcome to Polly, the druggie. Now I'm interested. What are you thinking? Laxatives or Viagra? Gross. I'm thinking something fun like shrew. <laughs> Mediocre. Shrooms won't even dissolve in his drink, you idiots. You there, back me up on this. What do you think we should put in his drink? <laughs> oh, cool. I'm the one. Yeah, that make it cool. something fun, like shrooms. Well, you know what? You have to pick to just to get her heart. <clears throat> it induces werewolf transformations. He'll be a literal party animal. Or do you want to make him a laughing stock? Use that flower that makes a person fall in love with the first thing they see. We can make him fall in love with a chair or a house plant. Or me. <laughs> or Scarberry, yeah. <laughs> the moon root. OMG, cute! And I totally have a snack truck. What? Snack what? Jet filter. Snack <laughs> jet filter. <laughs> that makes people look like wolves too. So I'll use it on him, <laughs> and then he'll be like a double wolf. Oh, it's a big brain, actually. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, a snack chat pick that a total cool totally justifies unleashing a vicious beast onto an unsuspecting party. Ah woo. You gain plus two food. F food? Fun. Oh, and food. plus two one food. bowl. Yes. Oh, food? some. <laughs> Someone's gonna be food, alright. Ooh. Let's trade places. Do we want to do random uh, or do we want to do the challenge? I say challenge, personally. Okay. Challenge? Do it for the vine. Do it for the vine. Red Bull. I'm gonna choose. Uh, Versace. Nike. Ooh, fancy. Oh, fuck. The uh, Corsair. Like Ooh, nice. Okay. Ooh, oh. good choice. Okay, ready? Yep. Decided by how on how cool it would be to live in a nation ruled by the selected brand. Okay. Oh, uh... Okay, so this is just so subjective, though, because, like... Well... That's why we're debating. Ah, uh, because, be I mean, like... Though? Okay, Red Bull would be, like, like, you know, Switzerland's, like, the adventure, like, activity capital of the world. You yeah, know, but most, way, most way, of that adventure is going to be... The way you travel to work is by squirrel suit. Uh-huh. <laughs> You know, and like you, you the way you'd park your motorcycles is by driving them up a ramp and over over fire to land it perfectly in your spot. Yeah, I feel like that would probably. Yeah, be you're kind of selling me on a Red Bull stick. <laughs> yeah. So. Of course, there would be a lot of RGB lighting. Required RGB lighting. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
Uh -huh. Nike Air would have really good shoes, though. Yeah, Nike would be very sporty. It would be very sporty. Fancy. And Versace That's true. would be very, like, it, yeah, like Versailles. Versace. Yeah. Mm. Be like high fashion, you know, live in the high life. Although the only mm. thing is, I'm pretty sure that they would probably be like Dubai, where it's like extreme extravagance right next to. Uh, right. So, like, poverty. the capital in the Hunger Games? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, Probably. are we go are we agreeing Red Bull State as number 1 for Scar? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yee. <laughs> okay. And who came second then do we think? Nike State, uh Versace State or Corsair State? Yeah, I don't know if I trust Nike necessarily either. No. So the thing with like the Versace is like if you're if you compare it to like the Hunger Games and it's the capital, like it seemed like it was pretty good to live in the capital, just not anywhere else. That's I'm true. I'm okay with a society ruled by pretty people, so I'll I'll allow I'll allow the Versace. <laughs> uh, Versace. And then mm. Corsair or Nike for third. I I really do not trust Nike to run a I to run a yeah, they use like wow. Uh, they use shady business practices. That's how you know. That's how, that's how you know they're a good government. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think my four-year-old should have to be working. You know. That is yeah. fair. So. Oh. Child labor is not okay, good. good. You sit down to enjoy a nice normal meal at the spooky high cafeteria as usual. Love, <laughs> JK, something fucked up is always going to happen here, and today is no different. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, Scar. Did you want to come sit with us in our... Wait, what is that? Imaginary friend? No one else is here. <laughs> <laughs> Their imaginary friend roars, and the whole cafeteria shakes. Okay, Scar, you have some smarts. You're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Oh, God. Why do we have a wild beast under our table? Why don't you take a guess? Uh, it, that Vera actually slipped Scott some Viagra at the party. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's a different kind of beast. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. <laughs> Scott! No, we didn't! Shut up! Aww. A little blush. We were going to teach at the piano. Or maybe the saxophone? I lost my notes. He took notes? I'm proud of him. No worries, no notes to oh, need. He remembers you stuff. know exactly what they should do with this wild beast. Oh god, okay. He, he took notes to eat them later. The, okay, the wild beast should be the new team mascot. Put him in a sports jersey and let's rock! Go team! Or, it's obvious he brought such a beast to the kitchen to turn it into the next Monster Chef champion so you can split the big Monster Chef cash prize. Alright, I really think this one is a bit easier than the last one. Watch, yeah. I'm gonna be wrong. <laughs> sports, 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 yeah, all sports, all the things. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm pretty sure Spooky High already has a mascot, but you know what they say the more mascots, the merrier. <laughs> you did. There is a mascot, you made it. It's yeah, the nightmare it's abomination, the nightmare abomination that holds all the umbrellas. Yeah, that's it, it holds umbrellas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really? I don't think they say that. <laughs> well, they should. If most schools have only one mascot, having multiple mascots will be one more thing that makes our amazing school even more extra special. So special. I can see it now. The spooky high wild beast that Scott and Damien kept under a tables. <laughs> rah, rah, wild beast. Eat the other team and make a feast. Try to not get an infection from yeast. Oh, that really fell apart. No, I mean, oh. you know what? He, he, he's, he's a poet. Shut up. 
<laughs> He's speaking from experience. And actually, <laughs> that chant is pretty dope. See, Damien likes it. Oh, I have to press enter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, All right. Thank you, Tez the Wild Beep mascot. Sure will be fun. See, look, he's so good at the rapping. Good for him. Aww. Aww. If you ask me, I owe you one. The wink. wink. If you were to nitpick, you could point out that tons and one fun don't actually rhyme. But why would you nitpick such an adorable and genuine display of affection from darling Scott? Yeah, exactly why? <laughs> Aurora. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> hey, don't apologize. It's part of the thing. All Polly and Miranda. In love and war. And fair, sit together. Fair, fair. Surrounded by Miranda's customary crowd of serfs. Oh, wait. You know, I love this game, you by the way. If anybody ever, serfs? like, if everybody, like, if anybody you? else has it and has never gotten a chance to play it, maybe we can set up, like, an off stream night where we can get together in the Discord and play it. I love this game, it's so funny. And there's a sequel, and apparently they're coming out with oh, a third cool. one. Oscar. That's gonna be a road trip. Oscar? Sorry, I was talking. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Well, of course, I find eating to be terribly undignified, so I almost never do it. Hey, me neither. What other kinds of crazy surfs have you got? Well, I have a surf to go to the bathroom for me, a surf to experience difficult emotions for me, and a surf for keeping my silverware in alphabetical order. I even have a surfing surf for standing on top of whenever I go surfing. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of surfs. <laughs> it's a fair amount. The only limit is my imagination. Unfortunately, my imagination, my imagination surf imagined a way to escape from surfdom, so now I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> you need a speaking surf. <laughs> well, I'm sure with the help of Aurora, we could probably think of a dope new kind of surf. Oh, is that so? I can't wait. Brook surf. Well, you're <laughs> on the spot now. What will it be? Oh, Miranda, you should get a puppy surf. It's not actually a surf. It's just like 50 cute dogs. <laughs> you should get a party surf, Polly. A surf to experience your hangovers for you. Oh, that would be super helpful, actually. That would be super mm. helpful. Never having a hangover ever again. Just having the party. Just making it someone else's problem. <laughs> A surf that's actually just a room full of cute puppies? Why didn't my imagination surf come up with such a marvelous idea? I swear, if he hadn't escaped, I'd have him hanged by my execution surf immediately. I swear to God. As a matter of fact, would you like to be my new imagination surf? The pay is non-existent, but you make up for it in constant fear of death. You politely decline Randa's offer, but agree to go to the animal shelter to pick up a pu uh, pick out a puppy surf instead. Huzzah. <laughs> there was someone selling puppies outside of uh, the store today, and it took so much strength to not go get one. Oh, God. Oh. Sure. Ivor, where do you want to go? Right. I couldn't right. imagine. That's a good question. Where do I want to go? You can't go talk to Polly because that table's been taken. So it's either I, I talk think... to the coach, yeah, talk to the, the others, coach. or go to the store. Yeah. Coach, the, Liam, and Vera. The coaches. Or, or the coaches, the... Tony the Tiger? Yeah, yes. Basically. Oh, okay. And then uh, the cat in the bottom right is the store. Tony the Tiger with the mustache, to be exact. Mm -hmm. See, totally. He's Tony different. the Tiger's father. Yeah. He's Timothy the Tiger. Totally different. Uh huh. Legally distinct, yeah. Legally yeah, yeah. distinct oh, yeah, from get Tony it. the Tiger, exactly. It's Anthony, yeah. the he tiger. says they're awesome. It's yeah. Anthony the Tiger, and he's um he's fat instead of buff, so you know. Mm, mm, mm. Tony the Tiger uh, after the drugs. He's got a dad bod. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think I'm gonna talk to 
the cold ones over here. Ooh. You approach Liam and Vera at their table, but before you can sit down, Vera holds up a hand. Pathetic. Stop. This is the cool people table where only cool people are allowed. Oh, we don't have a voice for Liam yet. Does someone want to be Liam? Ivor, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? I'll insult myself, sure. <laughs> <clears throat> I would agree with what Vera just said, but agreeing is something only uncool people do. Wouldn't you agree, Vera? I see that trap he just laid. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, Liam. But I think we're getting away from the point. This interloper still wants to sit with us. Interloper. Uh. Well, if he wants to sit with us, he's going to have to prove he is as cool as we are. But without, like, trying to prove it, trying is so uncool. <laughs> so, what's it going to be? Uh, I'm not- I'm gonna give Vera money. <laughs> I'm not gonna, not gonna pay Vera. I'm just gonna just walk away. Wait, was that sarcasm? <laughs> no, of course not. Ivar was clearly being totally sincere. Get him, Vera. <laughs> there it was again. Are you two doing this on purpose? <laughs> now, why on earth would we do that? I can't tell whether you're being sincere or ironic. It's so, so cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Everyone knows clear. <laughs> Everyone knows clear and efficient communication is the least cool thing of all. You've wooed me with your open disdain for language. I like his little toofy. Right. Yes. <laughs> I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Exactly. Look. Vera and Liam invite you to sit with them and chat. By the end of lunch, none of you have any idea what anyone else meant. So cool. Cool. Hello. Cool. <laughs> Now, do I go to the shop or go to the gym? Uh, the gym teacher. I'll go to the shop. Show me that money. Does someone want to do it? Show me that money. <laughs> money, money, money I can do money. it, I guess. You hey, have volunteered. Last night, I read this article on how money causes pocket cancer in the long run. You don't want to get <gasps> pocket cancer. Quick, yeah, give me that dangerous you money you have in your you? still healthy pockets. Oh! That's what it says for me. Oh. What does it say for you? It's interesting. Uh, I normally do it with a Russian accent. I don't know why. Do it. But, uh, I can't do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Count of many lives. One of them was Russian. Go. <laughs> Welcome to my little shop, comrade. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats, comrade. Shit that will lead you to stupid new adventures, comrade. Even some shit that might as much need it as some specific, yeah, specific moments. So take a look. Nice. Uh, yeah, horribly. I don't have enough money to buy the Ooh. Tower Totem of Zorgod, ruler of the Dark Realms. I kind of want to, though. If I get money, I might buy that. I like the write-up on it. Yeah. It's not quite as successful on the entire fabric of reality. It's still just to high schoolers, but a girl needs a new pair of badass boots. So fuck safety. <laughs> So, the Dragon Heart is an event. Ooh, Dragon Heat. Dragon Heat, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I look, Wait, was the Dragon Heart a movie? I think it was, yeah. Yeah. A classic. Dragon so Heat. easy and stupid that you just can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but I'm not super into Dragon Apps. Who isn't into Dragon Apps, honestly? A lemon. This is a lemon. Do I really need to explain every little oh, thing I saw here? A sexy, fake Latin <laughs> accent. Why, the hottest thing is being yourself, uh, honey. But a Latin accent is close to second, to be honest. Um, 
I can just get the gift that keeps on giving for zero dollars. Hey, Rita, what's up? I think that randomizes. I have got it one stage where it gave me 99 money. Really? I yeah. got a useless item that wasn't useless the next game. It was the same item oh. next game, and it was it, it, there was a purpose to it the next game. It was weird. Interesting. Yeah. A Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. I, Are I you can sure tell about you what, this? I can tell you what the useless item was if you want spoilers, otherwise I won't. What was oh, it? I'm okay. actually curious. It was a statue of a guy pooping. Oh. And it was useless oh. during our run. But the next, the next, we played a second game, and the person, somebody in the group, got it, like picked the present and got it again, <laughs> and it turned into a whole event where it was like a religious artifact that you you were trying to figure out why it was like where the the like the reason for it started, and so you go on this whole adventure with Liam and uh, Damien to like Israel or something, and you and you go and try to find out why why the tradition of the guy pooping started, and it's just, yeah. But I didn't get an event, I, I just had a useless item. <laughs> oh, what do I boost? My lowest stat is charm at the minute, so maybe I'll buy a sexy fake Latin accent. <laughs> Thank you, Rita! To be charming. Ah. Nothing's better than this. Nothing better than the smell of money, comrade. Well, actually, there are many better smells, but you know what I mean, right? And I was something the along the lines of like, who would want to save money for their college fund when you can spend it on things that are useless? <laughs> I love it. Challenge. Everyone choose an object. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Dildo. Uh, the nut button. Make it compact. Water bottle. Okay. Player just had to have a unsexy on our desk because then Kitsune, I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess we know. <laughs> how unsexy it would be to use the selected object as a sexual toy. Well. Well, okay. Um. Oh. Uh... How unsexy. Well, I... I feel like Arcane is going last again. God damn it. Yeah, I think so. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I feel like I should specify the, the makeup compact I was looking at. That gave me the idea. Is a Sailor Moon makeup compact? Is there a mirror? Yes. Okay, that actually it helps. <laughs> <laughs> um. What was yours again? Sorry, Scar. Just the nut button. <laughs> the nut button. I I'm gonna say I uh, uh, I'm oh, gonna say nut yeah. button's close to being first. <laughs> it's pretty unsexy. No, no, you're no, using it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that now you're pleasuring at someone and just because no, when you finish, no, you have no, to no, hit the no, button no, 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 no. to let them know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I I feel oh, like no. pushing the nut button will, will kind of take you out of it, you know? Like like hearing if you hearing do it your partner yeah. push. The, I just. <laughs> It's almost like they're like chanting for you to. Oh, right. <laughs> they no, want you no, to finish, no, no. so they're just start they're, like smacking the button. Like, can you be done now, please? Like, I, I, oh, I'm that's bored. Sad. <laughs> that's pretty unsexy. <laughs> so, Scar first again. Mm. Yeah. Hey, all in agreement. Okay. Then <laughs> make sorry. a compact or a water bottle. Hmm. Um, I feel like the water bottle already has the right shape. I'm gonna say yeah. yeah. So to be fair, my water bottle is like <laughs> what brand? It's like water 32 bottle? ounces. Oh wait, Jesus Christ! Um, <laughs> so that may cause I would say it's like it's like unsexy because it's just kind of like a utilitarian thing because it's like yeah, you're not gonna you have need, to drink you need to hydrate. It. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But people, okay. And also, I would say that a little makeup compact with a mirror placed, like, can kind of, you know, because so you can, like, mm. you know, look from different angles, Allison, which is kind of sexy. I, how big Allison is the compact? wants to know, is the water bottle ribbed for her pleasure? <laughs> uh, it... It, uh, made the it, dark, is, it the, is not. The, I how dark the dirt in your garden is, Scott? It's about the size of my hand. Oh, but that's great, though. So it's, it's got more nutrients in the, in the dirt. That's awesome. Having to pull bottles out of people's butts. So. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I've, 
I I'm gonna say the mirror is on probably un more unsexy than the bottle. That's fair. Yeah. And then I and then myself. Because I chose a sex object for the sex toy event. <laughs> this is unlucky. Let's do this. Oh, the library is the library is the Okay. It's just the evening. I'm so where do the... people want to go? I'm gonna go to the gym. Go for it. That day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Oh, another one. The match is so intense that both teams are so into it that you decide to raise the stakes. By oh, betting God. part of your charm against part of the other team leader's charm. I know, I don't have oh. much. That commitment amazes your whole team and their spirit is fueled by determination. Finally, you win and take plus two charm from the other team's leader. She's now at a bit less fabulous. Yay! Wow. I just imagined wow. the Kali Ma scene from Indiana <laughs> Jones. Oh, no. Just Kali reaching in. I, I literally out the stole chair. her heart, yeah. And here comes Liam, <laughs> ranting to anyone who will listen about the failings of living flesh. Hmm. <laughs> oh god, what was the... I have such pity for creatures that I have to consume things other than blood. Is he wearing a compression shirt? Yes. He is. Grocery shopping, cooking, chewing. It's a nightmare. I, I gotta give it to him and that chewing is exhausting. <laughs> yeah. The whole process of being alive is just... Ugh. Just gross and exhausting, pretty much, yeah. Oh. So much work. <laughs> no wonder there are so many fad diets. People don't want to have to choose what they eat. Like, have you heard of the Matryoshka diet? Oh my god. You eat it. Oh, Wait, is that a real what thing? What the fuck? I hope not. I hope. It is. <laughs> Wait, were you serious? No. What? I think it is. Oh no. No. Wait, would, would that even. Would that even work, though? I mean, tape yeah, worms it eat like tape but... worms? Well, I mean, people I don't definitely... know if the tape... Yeah, people, like, a tapeworm steals, like, a lot of the food yeah. from you. Yeah, but would yeah. a tapeworm eat another tapeworm? That, I don't no. know. No. Maybe... But your oh, organs are not going to all be different. replaced by tapeworms. That that part's not true. No. That That is totally <laughs> false, but, yeah, tapeworms can be really, really bad. You yeah, eat a tapeworm? You can. There, there are eat... people who have died from purposely eating tapeworms right. to go on a diet. It's really gross. <laughs> the, don't eat tapeworms, please. Hmm. You eat a tapeworm, then you eat a bigger <laughs> sure tapeworm capture. to swallow that tapeworm, and so on until all of your organs are replaced by tapeworms. It's usually fatal, but the corpses do look Liam, you're a monster. Yes. Oh man, that brings back memories. The Marioska diet is how I die. Oh no. Oh my god. I miss fad diets. I used to get up to the stupidest shenanigans just to get my hands on the latest food replacement. Uh, Allison just told me that my voice hasn't been coming through on my own stream. Wait, what? Oh. Really? Oh Apparently. no. What? Oh no. What? What? What no. is this? Uh, I don't hear anything on Discord, so. Audio. Uh, why? Oh, yeah, it's not, it, audio input capture is not moving. Why? Hmm. Mm, um, did give it reset me to a default? Second while, you, while you're figuring that out. Can, Can you, you hear me now, mm -hmm. Alison? And this chat, chat uh, I guess they didn't hear me. This is when I said, if, if there's anything wrong, so not hearing my own audio would have been something that's wrong. That's probably why they didn't respond, though. I mean, anyone, anyone could have just said, yeah, this is silent of three people and then long periods of silence. Oh, no, you're a narrator, too. Oh, no. Any better. Uh, last time I was streaming a visual novel, Amnesia. <clears throat> I think Umber showed up in chat, Sin was in chat, a um, bunch of people showed up to chat. No, no one noticed that my game audio was blank. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. 
whole well, two hours. Because that's like. I'm glad your chats got mm -hmm. my voiceovers for the things, and now hopefully my chat can also get the voiceover for it. We're sorry. <laughs> We're sorry, chat. Oh my god! Thank you, Allison. We're sorry, everyone. Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, so I, everybody, like, all scuff has been ironed out. Chat, it's, speak it's, now or forever lose our patience, because... <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't, I don't know. Sin, you were in my chat this entire time, and you didn't mention, hey, he's not Ooh. talking. Sin, not again. <laughs> again? What did this happen before? <laughs> he just has a habit of just accepting whatever technical problems <laughs> He's just like, ah, yeah, they're good. It's fine. Don't worry about <laughs> that is it. a call out, Allison. Yes, it is a call out. <laughs> just blame everything on Sin. It's fine. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> well, we're blaming Sin again. All right. <laughs> oh, were you, you, you're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I had to. I had to go to the woods. No. No. There. No. No. It's fine. Um. Uh, uh, whoa. Are you guys talking about fad diets? Sign me up. I'll do anything that'll get me more ripped. Anything. Oh man. <laughs> he just said he he would do anything to get him more ripped. Ooh. That means That's your chance. this is my in. Got a yes. chance, girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Have you heard of the Imhotep cleanse? It's where you only eat things that came from a mummy. Mummies are rare, so you get super skinny, plus you get to rub tombs. Okay, probably not. Uh, yeah. You've heard yeah. of the paleo diet. Now try the Jurassic diet. You can't eat anything that isn't a dinosaur. Killing a T-Rex alone will get you super buff. Okay, that's the answer. That's the answer I'm going for. He was getting ritz. Uh, fun fact, uh, right. the British used to eat, uh, mummies. Yeah, Brit I mean, they? people back in the day used to do a lot of fucked yeah. up things. Was, yeah. was that at the same time as opium, or was that a separate, uh, I mean, health crisis? like, probably the same time. Like, American plantation owners in the 1800s were worse. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. History is really fucked up when you start getting into like when you start really digging into like details, it's like, oh my god. It I'm really is. I'm never yeah. leaving my house again. None of y'all can be For trusted. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Whoa, awesome. I've always wanted to punch a T Rex, and now I finally have my excuse. <laughs> oh my god. But dinosaurs died out years ago, Scott. Where are you gonna find one? Oh, Polly looks sad. Oh, no. Easy. I'll squat thrust so <laughs> Commit. Commit to the bit. <laughs> yeah. He'll do what? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. not sure there's a number of squat thrusts you can just do that will alter the fabric of reality, Scott. I don't know why I didn't try to go to prom with Scott sooner. This is fantastic. <laughs> I love this so much. He's so good. <laughs> that shows how little you know about squat thrusts, Polly. <laughs> there is no problem that can't be solved by squat thrusts. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he knows. Later, Scott shows you how to do your math homework with squat thrusts. <laughs> the magic is real. Yeah! You gain plus what? two charm and plus one fun. Heck yeah. Let's go. Aurora. Okay, uh... Let's see, I can't... Hmm. She likes money, I think. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there. Welcome to the oh, shop! Crap. Oh, well. <laughs> Gotta spend uh, money yeah. to make money. I think. That's true. That's true. Oh, now that she's selling cocaine now. But you're too poor. <laughs> you're too poor. Yeah. Uh, well, these but are you... items are different than last time. Oh, the tampon. Uh, yes, there's a few ones. You can also now get the penguin mask, the tampon. Yeah, the and tampon. I got the, the I got okay. the cutscene that triggers where you would need that for an event, and then I never got to go to the shop again. Mm. You know so what? I don't know what happens. I'm gonna go with the hype station. No, Okay. Yeah. 
Who would, would want to save money for their college fund? Yeah, that's what we got earlier. Um, so what yeah. does the, that do again? Uh, <laughs> they, uh, they hype me up on social media, I guess? Oh, everyone loves you a little bit more? That's good. I think so. I think I saw a heart, so I'm guessing just everyone loves you a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> Where do you want to go? Do you want to boost your charm? Oh, you can't boost charm because uh, Scar is there. Sorry. You can go get smarter, you can get more creative, you can be more fun, or you can be more bold. Mm -hmm. Creativity is your lowest thing after charm. But you're going oh, for poly, so usually you want to be fun or uh, bold, I, I think. Well, I'm already up to... Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Eight and nine and bold and fun. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, you can't help but feel that you're not as good as the role requires you to be. Rawr. Oh. We've all been there. There doesn't seem to be any ordinary way of getting yourself there, but there might be an extraordinary way. Oh, cool. We're going back to drugs. <laughs> you summon the devil, one of yeah. many, and make a deal to enhance your creativity just for a bit. Hey, Damien, come here. <laughs> you gain plus two creativity. You also lose minus three years of life at the end of your deal. But who cares? They weren't happening in game anyway. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So I'm clearly a, a, zombie, a zombie, right? Yes. But you're also a monster. So you live by monster I, life. I guess then. the pitchforks are going to be coming three years earlier is what they're saying. Mm. Or just rot, natural decay. Yeah. I guess... Later, in the halls, you run into Polly and Liam, who seem to be talking about some kind of flyer. The flyer is for an upcoming music festival, Howlapalooza. So, we agree on everything for Friday, right? Yeah, pretty much. That was the voice I was using. And Saturday, we should totally go to Messer Chups and imagine a fucking dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I now want an actual band called Imagine a Fucking Dragon. They're gonna be their their cover bands, like the the people that just cover all of their songs. Yeah, <laughs> their tribute uh, bands. That would be great. Sure, those bands are great. And then at three a.m. I want to check out that guy in the parking lot who just makes a cacophony for two hours. Um, ghosts are super into cacophonies, but at 3 a.m. I wanted to go to Mick Griffin. Cool. I mean, it's a friggin' griffin that raps. It's the hottest shit right now, Liam. <laughs> You know, the hottest shit right now isn't the criteria I use to pick the artists I want to see, right? Yes! Griffin! <laughs> that is what <laughs> <laughs> um, There should be a better way to decide this other than repeating our choices in a loud, annoying tone. But I love the loud, annoying tone thing. I know. Still. Go ahead, don't be shy. You might have the ultimate trick for how to choose the best schedule for this music festival. I don't know about you guys, but I'm into the rapping griffin. Hell yeah. Get as much ayahuasca as possible <laughs> until some kind of spirit animal appears and shares its wisdom with you. I I think I know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you fight over it. this. The one who wins will get to see their artist live for an hour, live for an hour. Fuck, man. <laughs> English way, is yeah. a bullshit language. For an hour or two, but the one who loses will get to bitch about it till the end of time. Oh my god, it's a ghost and a vampire. They will actually do it to the end of time. They will. Um, let's get some ayahuasca, baby. So fun. Dangerously, dangerously high amounts. High. <laughs> so dangerous. Dangerously high amounts of... Ayahuasca? Uh, ayahuasca? Ayahuasca? Yeah. Even her, she doesn't know how to pronounce the word. <laughs> that you feels should know how to character. charm a lady. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 
That sounds problematic. Isn't it like cultural appropriation or something? Don't worry, Liam. If we acknowledge it as cultural appropriation, then it's not that bad. It's called lampshading. I do it all the time to avoid guilt. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right. Oof. Sure. <laughs> Also, the only thing I pretend to appropriate is a kick-ass, mind-blowing Ashwasha high. And I'm still pretty sure that's not how you say that, but I don't care. We're rolling with it. Not sure you're right, <clears throat> but okay, let's go with it. Actually, I've heard it's pretty hip right now. And by pretty hip right now, you mean the hottest shit right now, huh? <laughs> Oh, I love a good old Ashwaja like that tonight. <laughs> I wonder what spirit animal will reveal itself to us. A coyote with a deep voice? A turtle with full of wisdom? A jellyfish that's super into breakdancing? I'm hoping for the jellyfish. I love jellyfish. I love the coyote one. He gives the best advice ever. Well played, sir. You got Polina super hyped about this, and also she finds Cacophony super funny when she's high. So I have a strong hunch we'll be seeing my thing. By all means, feel free to join us. You seem pretty clever and you also know how to manage our lovely, crazy, ghostly friend. You joined them, and despite what you might have hoped for, it all happened off game. But it was pretty uh... rad, and you know what? In the end, you got the jellyfish who's super into breakdancing. You yeah. got playing plus two fun and plus two creativity. Fuck, I am super fun. Look at that. You are. <laughs> and very most fun. You're just not charming. That's fair. Uh, though I am very poor. But art art oh, imitates but very, life, I very suppose. Charming. Yes. But very charming. Uh, hmm. I'm going to try to become smart. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Oh, the Sometimes, little raising its hands. Yeah, little shadow boy. I love him. After all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity of this high school. Uh... You gain plus two smarts. After your eavesdropping on Miranda and Polly, waiting for the perfect moment to mention your influx of online followers when... Oh, it's this guy. Oh. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, it's this guy. Oh. Never fear, my ladies. You need not fight over me. It's this guy. Him again. Nobody likes you. Go home. I As forgot I had to click. That's why we all have. As royalty myself, I must say that even I find him to be... What's the term you use, Paulina? Extra AF. <laughs> Friendship between two beautiful maidens shouldn't be soured over one as handsome, rich, and humble as I. I hate this guy so much. Me too. He's so icky. And it makes me makes me feel gross voicing him. But, <laughs> but worry not, my sweet summer salads. I have found the perfect solution to protect your feeble hearts. You shall both marry me. No, he called me a sweet summer salad, and I don't eat salads, so... No. I, what uh, the fuck does that even mean? I have no idea. I'm just being gross. I've <laughs> dealt with male entitlement before, but this is official next level. Yes, an interdimensional level. As our collective wedding will be as well. Wait, what do you mean? It is Monster Prom. Yeah, Bomb. not interested. Uh, what a commoner. <laughs> what a commoner. You are hardly the first prince to seek my royal hand in courtship, and I don't see that you're bringing much to the table. Interdimensional table. And I am the definition of marriage material. You'll never find a better suitor. I have a castle. I can defeat anyone at anything. I'll show you. I'll fight... him. 
Oh no. Um, oh yeah. This I'm engine is fighting you now, are you? Pointing okay. directly at you. Why is your life like this? <laughs> I can defeat I, you I, at any challenge. Name your weapon and prepare to lose. Mm. While you were studying the class, I was studying no, the blade. <laughs> Miranda and Polly are watching you closely. Maybe you can skew the prince's challenge to really impress one of them. And we wild naked fencing with live weasels instead of swords. As a royal, you must fancy yourself pretty clever. So let's see you win at losing. <laughs> oh, so creative. Yes, I carried it a seven. Nice. It's true. Royalty is very clever. I know because I'm royalty. Very well, then. Let us proceed with the challenges. The series of trials begins. You each post selfies to mom Momentogram. Momentogram? Hunt? Hunt? Momentogram. Momentogram. Yeah. The Momentogram. prince hunts. The, well, that thing. <laughs> the prince instantly gains 12 followers while you lose 10. Round one goes to the home team, it would appear. Sorry about your unfortunate face. Next up are classic feats of athleticism. The prince kicks your ass up and down at archery, fencing, and bumper cars. Finally, you engage in a stirring round of Monopoly. The prince wins within six moves. Uh oh. Aha! Normally, Monopoly might last days, but I, with my incredible skills, to win at once because <laughs> I am a winner. Now surely I have proven myself a worthy and winning groom for both my blushing brides. Dude, they're not blushing. <laughs> Dude, the competition was to win at losing. By winning everything, you've actually lost. What? No, it cannot be. And yet, it is. Sadly, even though you are of royal blood, it would seem as if you are the biggest loser of all. Dun, dun, dun. Oof. No! Curse you, confusing semantics! <laughs> <laughs> the prince lets out a heartbroken sob and disappears in a burst of heartbroken light. <laughs> You may have made yourself look like a total loser, but you at least at least your friends aren't both. Marrying that douchey prince. You gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. Nice. <clears throat> that weekend. Ooh. Something happened to No! Oh, okay. On... Oof. Yeah. Let's do this! Now you gotta remember facts about your friends. Yeah. Weekend time! Oh, you are with Miranda. With Liam. Arcane and Aurora in Liam's apartment. Ooh. Because tonight is game night. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Day oh, sorry. Damien and Scott are late. How surprising. Ring. <laughs> hey guys. We brought a friend. Uh, we hope it's okay, Liam. She's totally cool and into board games. Her name is Al Olga. Oops, I do realize sorry. we can see that's just a huge owl bear, poorly disguised as a high schooler, right? Yes, D and D. Root. Yeah, Liam. You don't see us accusing you of being a huge owl bear, poorly disguised <laughs> as a high schooler. Scott is technically right. We haven't done that. Therefore, I feel inclined to trust him. <laughs> Whatever. Can we play some games? Heck yeah. And before you even try, no, Miranda, we're not playing your version of Risk, where you start with a huge underwater empire. It didn't sound funny and turned out to be completely unfunny. Uh, what about? No, no, not werewolf either. 
I won't play that until you learn <laughs> you're the werewolf only when you get the werewolf card and not just always. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's sad. Right. We should totally play. Not cards against monster kind, Damien. It requires no strategy nor skills aside from making vulgar jokes. We get it. You like it because it's totally wrong. Today we're enjoying a refined and complex Euro game. Oh, I know. I know a guy like this. <laughs> oh, wow. I feel that. And you know it's a Euro game because we'll spend more time learning the rules than actually playing. It's called... <laughs> It's called Chess 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> it includes deception, dice, deck building, an auction system, dozens of figurines, and hexagonal tile placement. Hexagonal tile placement? Ooh. After three hours of learning the rules and an extra hour for proper setup, you start playing. I hate this already. But it isn't long before Olga starts wrecking havoc and destroying everything. As she do. For Olga. I mean, it's an owlbear that lasted four hours without doing anything Ew, wrong. I love these so much, Fox. It's pretty eee! good. This is not nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Brace yourselves. Olga <laughs> might actually be a wild owlbear disguised as a high schooler. We thought it would be a fool to sneak a wild owlbear into the game tonight because of reasons. Holy shit, I never knew. Wow, I'm shocked. <laughs> wild. Ah. Sorry, thought it'd be super nice and inclusive for owlbears. Aww. My apartment, my beautiful and minimalistically decorated <laughs> apartment is being destroyed. Also, is she somehow winning? <laughs> she is. You need to save the game night. But how will you subdue a wild owlbear? You can only, lo the only logical way seems to be by beating her at chess too, which she's kind of super good at it. Oh no. Oh, oh no. It will take two proficient tabletop gamers to beat the owlbear. You know you kick ass, but which of your friends is also amazing at tabletop games? Oh. oh. You must choose between me and Aurora. Oh. Yeah, we can't look at our own stats yeah, right now. I can't look at the you stats can't... either. I already, no, yeah, no one can look memory. at the stats. I don't remember what my sprint set is. I am quite smart. I just went to class That's last That's true. Session. You did just That's go to true. class. Okay, Arcane is the best at games. He plays Russian Pictionary once a month. And if he is still alive, that can only mean he always wins. Or Aurora oh. <laughs> is a legend among board game players. She's one of the three survivors of the Monopoly game night of 98, which escalated Ooh. from a technicality on a dice roll to one of our saddest national tragedies with victims in the two digits. <laughs> Jesus. Um, we'll be honest, I think it's gonna be arcane. Yeah. Oh, it's fun, not intelligence. Oh, oh you join forces with have... arcane, and together you become a force to be reckoned with. You roll a d6 and get an 11? <laughs> nice. You draw a you card. Draw a card. Oh, that doubles sorry. all it your a, points. It job. It's okay, you're doing a good job at it, and I hey. missed my moment. Uh, it doubles all your points if your opponent is very specifically more than 25% out. Yay! Oh. You get three trivia answers right, even though there weren't any trivia questions. <laughs> that sounds like me, actually, yeah. <laughs> Impressive. Also, the owlbear seems way calmer now. Yeah, Olga might be a wild owlbear, but she's not a sore loser. <laughs> I loved the part where you got a bingo and then caught the duck to trade half your resources for a get out of jail free card. Such finesse. And you know what? <laughs> I was the werewolf all along. <laughs> I love Scott. Aww. That's another game, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> he's so sweet. Aww, he's such a big dumb himbo. Real For what it's worth, Scott, you fooled me. No, Damien is a good friend. I love. I also love Damien. But the real winners here are Scar and Arcane, because they showed off some very sexy board game skills, and also because they actually won. Yay! <laughs> 
And so you all spend the rest of the night playing Dragoon and some of the group, some of the group, then some group content, contentacle, consentical, consentical, because oh. there's nothing as cool as dragons, consent and tentacle sex. <laughs> you and Arcane yeah. gain plus two charm and plus one fun. <laughs> Sorry, my eyebrows furrowed at that bit for a second. I was like, oh, okay. All right, do we have to do a random or challenge? D what do people want? I am good with random. Yeah. Oh, okay. Random it is. I'm going to be last. Oh, oh no, I'm second. Ah. Oh. Oh, God, what am I doing? You're going first. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> um, sure. Okay. So your charm is lo it's lowest, so yes. Oh, but the shop is in the gym. But you can spend uh, money. Oh, is there money to spend on charm, or did uh, I bought? I don't think thing? so. You I think wherever the, the gym I is, like it's just the shop. Yeah, or wherever yeah, the, the cat is, it's just the shop. You know, it's just the shop. Yeah. 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 So you could try and see if there's an item to buy for your seven monies, but. Oh, you missed me and my shit, comrade. Worry no more. All the shit can be yours, comrade, if you have the money. Not me, though. <laughs> Unfortunate. You can also uh, sugar an event if you'd like. Yeah, you could buy dragon heat or the lemon or the corpse or the sheet with two holes. That's what that is? It. Okay. It's a sheet wondering. with two I was holes. Like, is the, what is that? Is that like an electrical outlet? Oh, yeah. I didn't know what it was. Blank with two holes. Live your white blanket white. with two eye holes in it. There's also the present. I do like this Bob Ross. <laughs> It'll boost your creativity. Five dollars for a corpse. Uh, that doesn't seem legal. I, I did that event and got the answer wrong. <laughs> oh no! Oh. It's very embarrassing. You know I what? I never recovered. You know what? Oh. I'll uh. I'll take the chance. Do You're gonna come with yes. scaly dragon heat. Yeah. Have a good one. Must be Argonian made. We're all a little bit of a scaly. Let's just admit it, okay? No, <laughs> no, <judgment's> here. no. <laughs> no, I am not. I am a pure boy. <laughs> I, that's bullshit. I am pure. <laughs> Don't you start I that with angels me. aren't supposed to be able to lie. Well, I mean, the fallen ones can. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going for boldness. Oh, look at my little shadow friends. Oh, you went to take a poop. <laughs> that day, you visit the bathrooms to take a number two. Mm. Don't worry, there won't be an illustration of that specific moment. Outstanding. Thing is, you make one of the boldest decisions in your life. You don't put paper on the toilet seat before using it. Oh. Look at you, you crazy bastard. You gain plus two boldness and probably plus one staphylococcus and a slight chance of plus one STD. Yay! Mm -hmm. You notice Polly bent over her phone while Miranda tries to peek over her shoulder. Something's really interesting must be going on on Polly's phone. When you get closer, though, you see that Polly is just on horny dating app, trademarked, Again, swiping right on everybody. Miranda seems entranced, though, and a little worried. What? What did you say this was called again? Ah, yes. Clicking the button. Horny dating app TM. <laughs> and it's an app for finding true love? Um, <laughs> sure. Oh, no. But, but I never knew. I have spent countless hours going to royal balls and kissing frogs and pretending to be in a magical slumber. When I could simply have been using this app? <clears throat> I mostly just use it for collecting dick pics. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> what are these dick pics? Tokens of affection? Oh, alas, to be so far behind in my quest for love. I am 19 years old, practically an old maid, and only now learning of this? Oh, oh, oh God. Miranda, friend, no. sweetie. Honey, no. Mm. Oh, mm. how will I ever make up for lost time? 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'll coach you on the mysteries of the way the horny dating app trademarked. You'll have a whole harem in no time. Or you still don't have horny dating app? Question mark. Uh, why should you? Why should you worry about having horny dating app trademarked when you can uh, can actually own horny dating app trademarked? Why don't you just buy the entire company? Huh. Why did I do there? I accidentally did something. What? Where's the radical oh, robot? You can do, you can do emotes. If you press one, two, three, or four, Wait, really? you do emotes. Yeah. <gasps> what? Oh. Whoa, whoa. What is going on? You can do emotes. Press one, two, three, or four. Uh, Eat a cake! Oh. I, I discovered something. Okay. This is actually kind of cool. Lame lasagna. Les radical hey, radish. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amorous oh, amoeba. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so I'm trying to decide which one. <laughs> the company. You great like plus that. salmon. What the fuck Do I have the doing? money for the company though? Or does it would it take the money? Money norm. I don't think normally comes into it. Or from buying. No, things. no. I think I think you're just suggesting to her that she buy the app. Your it, money isn't a part of it. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't matter if you have money. I don't think. And the coaching in the way. I'm trying to decide which one do you think? One's for Polly and one's for Miranda. Or is it both for? It's, no, it's both for her, isn't it? I don't know. Because uh, usually when you have the two me. people, there's always one that leans more one or the other, you know? I'm going to go with the coach because I think with my charm. Okay. Hopefully the right she one. likes having a heart harem. Nice. So yeah. charm. Nice. Oh, I would have gotten that wrong. Well done. Please. Who's Miranda again? You would do that for me? And thank you very much. Oh, good. I have so many questions. What does DTF mean? Oh, no. Oh. Uh oh. Does that muscular chest in this picture have a head attached? Or did this man take the picture like that to hide his headlessness? Probably. It's to hide his headlessness. He's a doohan. Why do so many of the profiles use the eggplant emoji? Because they're vegans. <laughs> I shall appoint you my royal advisor in charge of horny dating app trademark adventures. Have fun sorting through those dick pics. <laughs> I don't mind. That'd be fun. <laughs> Your first task will be to take some very hot selfies of me. Ooh. Oh. Oh. You're not sure Miranda knows what selfie means, but you're not complaining. You gain plus two charm and plus one smarts. I am the most charming man alive. <laughs> <laughs> For now. Oh, okay, where do I want to go? Uh, where am I? Hmm. Let me think. Boldness is taken. You Should I? Yes, yeah, unfortunately. Fun. Money, you can get creativity. Creativity. What does it like? Mm, is this like I, I don't know for Scott if it matters. But you might get Scott in an outfit. He might be wearing a costume. That's true. Mm, they get costumes at the theater. That's true. Okay, good point. <laughs> that oh. day, while rehearsing for the nice. class play, you do a terrific job at acting. Okay, I look sexy as fuck. <laughs> yeah. You do. Damn. Damn. If we ever do monster camp, uh, I will buy the D&D costume pack before we do it because you get all the oh, fantasy. Really? Oh, really? So oh, good, awesome. yeah. That's cool. So, so act, uh, you act so hard that some of your classmates in the audience throw roses at you. Seven roses to be exact. Oh. Damn, roses aren't a valid currency. Of <laughs> there's that in this game. Damn yeah. it. Anyway, you check your converter app to see if this could translate into something a bit more useful. Um, it seems seven rows is equal to creativity points. The conversion of that's a bit wonky, but okay. I'll take it. Sweet. You gain plus two creativity. It's just 3.5 roses per one creativity. <laughs> Look at him. <gasps> He's a tree. Yeah, there he is. I, right. I led boy. you towards tree, boy. Oh, you just Wait, happened where, to be him. Why is that bird there? Bird's yeah, falling the out of the one. nest a little bit. That bird's being pushed out of the nest a little bit, looks like. Oh, oh my Nestle. god. You just happen to be hanging around near Scott, you know, not because you're, like, following him or anything. 
when suddenly a rift opens in time and space. A handsome prince steps through, be decked oh, in otherworldly finery. Oh, not this guy again. Fuck. All right, all right. Gonna gonna help me. Not this shit again. Oh, I'm gonna hype myself up. I was going after the men. My beloved, I have quested across dimensions to see your face. <laughs> oh, well, here it is. Here's my face. <laughs> oh, no. I'm playing myself. This is, it is more than just your face that I need, Scott the Great. Toss her up. I also need... Your whole body. No, Oscar of Toss. Yeah, we can toss his balls. We can toss his, him and his balls right out the window. Yeah, you know, I don't kink shame. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> Luckily, I brought that with me, too. <laughs> okay. Uh. Airline, thank you Everyone for the song. Everyone say boo. Oh. But I do not desire to merely gaze upon <laughs> your body. Though that in itself is a pleasure. Stop. Scar won't be dis Scar won't be disagree. I can't stop. I can't disagree with the truth, okay? My kingdom, you see, is besieged by a foul, dire heart, and only your muscles can save Carla, it. Thank you so much. And once the loathsome beast is vanquished, <laughs> perhaps we can find some other uses for that body of yours. Wink. Wink. Oh no, he is also after He's Scott. Also, yeah, damn it! <laughs> He's ah. stuffed in his mannerisms. And, yeah, he, wink! He's been watching him! Damn it! Right. <gasps> no. Oh my god! You say wink out loud too? That's so cool! No. <laughs> this. He's falling from... These two are actually getting along way too well. You need to slay that beast yourself before Scott and the prince spend any more time together. But how? Okay, rally a swarm of extra dimensional termites to devour the dire harp spine, or Jesus. sing so sweetly that the dire harp kills itself out of jealousy. Uh, you have charm. I do have charm. I would say anything you do, you, your stats are pretty good. Are you sure? What would you? Okay, I need help. What would you guys pick? Uh, I would say the rally the swarm is either charm or boldness. Okay. I was gonna say that oh, actually, no, the singing. Is fuck. You think and the singing is either creativity or charm. Hmm. So both basically the exact. Deal. What did you say was metal? Uh, the first one. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Getting the extra dimensional termites. It's so charm. charming. Uh, okay. <laughs> armed you. with your Thank termite you. summoning flute, you dash right. through the extra dimensional portal before the prince can react. The dire harp looms over the prince's palace, saliva dripping from its terrible strings. <laughs> oh, How does that okay. work? Luckily for you, the termites are in the prince's dimension, are eight feet long. Eat steroids for breakfast and fucking hate hearts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Once they're done eating every part of the divine, dire harp, I was going to say divine harp, but the dire harp, uh, but it's strings, you have to put them somewhere. So you thoughtfully let them infest the prince's castle. He won't mind, right? <laughs> I absolutely mind. I'm going to have to pay to have the entire kingdom fumigated. Oh, uh, that sucks. Anyway. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. no, that's the worst. Oh no. Anyway. Whoa, that was so cool how you rallied all those termites. You're like a quarterback, but for giant insects. <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> This is Scott. not cool. This is a nightmare. All I wanted to do was use a national crisis as an opportunity to romantically bond with a high schooler. It's, I I don't like the way he's saying high schooler. Hold the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, like Scott, is is Scott is 24. Scott is 24. 
Yeah, no, but you're right. But he's still, like, in high school. It's like, I, I mean, I think they made them deliberately older, so, like... Oh, they did, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's all legal. Like, the ages are fucking me up a little bit, yeah. But, like, I mean, like, is this, like, some, like, baby face 34-year-old that's being a creeper, you know? Like, it's legal. It's he's legal. He's going to the high school to pick up chicks, and that didn't work, so he's picking I, up the dudes. I understand like, that it's legal, but it feels like it's It legal. feels wrong, it feels because wrong. he's in the high yeah. school. Yeah, yeah um, nope. This guy just, if you, You're not gonna answer that. You gain plus you two win. boldness and plus one shine. Yay! Hey. Nice. Oh, let's go. Aurora. Okay. <clears throat> Trying for money again. Yes. Nice. That day, you spend some time at the library's PCs managing your starter kicker. Star kicker. Oh, you so deceive so. lots of people with sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. <laughs> Cheesecake and butt, man. You gain 100,000 money, but almost everything goes to cover costs and keep you only keep two money. <laughs> As you wander around talking to yourself like a weirdo, <laughs> you notice Miranda walking around talking to herself like a weirdo. She seems to be addressing an imaginary crowd. Oh, she's practicing. Greetings, fellow classmates. <laughs> oh, hello. I was just practicing my royal wave for when I am crowned prom queen. Oh. I feel there's a lot to be learned before I ascend the throne. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Naturally, as a princess, I'm already great at wearing crowns, talking to cute animal friends, quelling rebellions through excessive force, and singing sweetly. Can we rewind to that third one? <laughs> <laughs> but I lack administrative experience. I have never so much as issued a decree. I wonder what my first should be. You don't have the heart to tell her that the role of prom queen doesn't actually come with sovereignty. Maybe you should heart. just give some suggestions instead. Mm. Uh... <laughs> taxes are f taxes are fun and paint. I feel Every like student. this is a creativity thing, so I'm going to choose the creativity. Or a fun thing. It might be fun. Huh? It could be fun Are either. taxes fun, though, or is that just money? Ooh, that could just be... Go with what you feel is right, because you mm. might be right. That might be creativity. Pink. I'm going to say pink. <laughs> yeah! It is creativity. Paint is creative. Ah, yes. Paint. The great equalizer. How much more docile, more uniform, more color coordinated they'll be. <laughs> no one tell Hex. <laughs> I can't press the button. <laughs> okay, I got it. I just, of course. Uh, I was just not being I, tough. No, I... It's stupid <laughs> buttons. Of course. I suppose people do have other distinguishing features that paint could, wouldn't take care of. Some have fangs, for example. But that's an easy fix. We'll issue prosthetic fangs for everyone. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, there, oh, <laughs> there, there. it is. Yeah. Oh, or oh. even easier, simply remove the fangs of anyone who has them. Yes, that's a good starting place. We shall go from there. Everyone will be so pretty. Hmm. It uh, you may have just planted the seeds of her rather unsavory political regime, but Miranda is excited about it, so yay! Sorry, fellow students. You get plus two fun and plus one creativity. I'm trying to think. Nice. Do I have fangs? Does the fire girl have fangs? Should I be scared? No. Good. Okay. Don't think so. So a challenge or random? I'm gonna do uh, random. Random. Scar. Ah. Aurora. Me. Hey, it's just a reverse order from last time. Nice. Pretty oh, much. That works. Oh, We're about time. halfway through. Oh, it's Star Boy. Interdimensional Boy is there. No. I didn't know. I'm not sitting with that guy. Nope. Um, I am really sorry, but... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, take enough. Okay. To take enough. To, uh, yep. Yeah, that's fine. Please do. <laughs> You arrive at Scott's and Miranda's table to find Scott happily chowing down while Miranda stares horrified at her tray. <laughs> <clears throat> of course. It means Aurora Ooh. can't take Miranda from me. <laughs> What's wrong, Miranda? Yuck. Isn't it obvious? Right here, on my tray. Fish sticks. Hey, do you guys like fish sticks? 
They're good. They're okay. Yeah. He might be a gay fish. Anyway. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fish Stick <laughs> Friday. Isn't it great? It is Scott not great, Scott. Too. The fish are my subjects. This is clearly the work of the air people. Oh. Uh, air <laughs> He's already forgotten yeah. his conversation, okay. apparently. Scott, we've been over this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Do you not know if the air people... She's so patient with them. Wow. The Merfolk's yeah. most hated rivals? Don't you read the news? No, no, she's not actually being patient. She's forgotten she's told Scott. Ah, uh, valid. Um, yes, sure. <laughs> Because I totally know how to read. <laughs> no. Hi, what's up? My name's Scott. I'm 22 and I never learned how to read. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I must insist that you cease eating those fish sticks immediately. It is high treason. Oh, I've been looking forward to Fish Stick Friday since since last Fish Stick Friday. Are you sure I can't eat any? <laughs> He's asking Randa while holding Fish Stick really close to his mouth. But you feel like you've got a better answer to settle this argument. You blurt out. I'm gonna get murdered by Miranda, but it's worth it for my for my wolfy boy. Yeah, me and Aurora's next mission will be to hunt you down for this. <laughs> Oh. Haven't you heard, Scott? Fish sticks make you worse at sports. They contain ball drop and all and nerdoflavin. No. Fish sticks contains absolutely no fish. It's all garden snails and food grade plastic. Scott can eat as many as he wants. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I don't think well, he'd have a problem with eating food grade plastic, you know? Yeah, no, the first one, telling him he's gonna be upset, bad at sports. Yeah, because he just him. ate a ton of them. I think it'll upset him. I'm gonna go with yeah. this one. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. See, Miranda, there's nothing wrong with fish sticks at all. They're good and good for you. She is giving me the side eye, though. Just check that out. She's like, are you, are you sure? Why? <laughs> I think you're, you're wrong about that one. I suppose you're right. Perhaps this is not the air people plot I suspected after all. Though I am disappointed that so much plastic is being used in fish sticks rather than plastic drink rings to catch birds with. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay then. Don't forget about the snails. There's snails in it too. <laughs> Yeah. I would much rather forget about the snails. Thank you. Does this wow. mean you still don't want your fish sticks? Can I have them? Can I? Very well. You may partake. I'm not sure where my eating surfs have gone off to in any case. Oh. Continuity. Again. As you watch Scott chow down on his artificial fish fingers, you decide that both he and Miranda have weird relationships with food. Scott gives you a thumbs up while he's still munching those fish fingers. <laughs> he loves his fingies. Now, Aurora, where would you go? Uh, you could see. fuck. You could fuck with uh, Ivor and take away uh, Polly, uh, or go somewhere else. Wow, that hey, was cold, man. All, that was all cold. fair in love and war. Mm. Are, are you trying to convince me to not date Miranda? It, right? I think I think that was yep. I think well, that's you what can't it was. go you can't go to Miranda at this point just because that table is taken. So now oh, yeah. it's a question of do you take down everyone else with you or what do you do? <laughs> are, are, are you trying to convince me to take down Ivar? I wouldn't do that to Ivar. See, Ivar hasn't slighted me. Okay, so Ooh. I feel like I have to take a moment. Oh, is there a story this? time? Yes, this is story, story time. time. Oh no, oh, so no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, I have an I'm into it, let's so, go. Much like Scar, I have an affinity for himbos. They're so dumb, <laughs> yes. they're so buff. Um, multiple times now, a certain angel boy, person, love, uh, has very darlingly, you know exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, has very lovingly said, um, by the way, I hate himbos. Aww, how could you? I don't, yeah. I, no, the I will audacity. fully admit. How is it I've, physically no. possible no, to I hate will. himbos? By definition, everyone normally, loves himbos. 
clothes. No, normally yeah, I just hate they... him. But I'll admit, I'm Scott not is even making into me love guys, the trope. And I love no, him. Yeah. God is making yeah. me love the trope. I'm actually, I'm loving the himbo thing now with Scott. I actually do mm. like Ooh, Scott. Mm. Scott's mm. converted him. Scott is, <laughs> the himbo Scott is so wholesome that I can't. Oh, Octavia64 in my chat is also saying they just like himbos. Um, yes. I have backup. Band. Oh. Band hammer. Goodbye, Octavia. <laughs> I'm out. Banished. <laughs> Preemptive ban from your channel. <laughs> don't worry, Octavia. You can stay at my channel. I mean, I, uh, okay, even if you don't like himbos, you still have to agree that having a himbo in your corner is just is just a, a bonus. Like, it's a boon. So like, it's only loving. beneficial to you to have a himbo in your on your side. They just want you to be happy, and they're just happy to be there. Like, there is no downside. I don't see a downside. I'm yet to find one. I'm so shocked know. people don't like himbos. I thought that was they're basically impossible. Not... Oh, Octavia's yeah. not saying depends on the himbo, which is kind of where it falls for me. Okay. Kronk is A tier top boy. Yes. I love Kronk. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Goth is also being good. I just, I start disliking it where the himbo level of it just starts going down to them just being so stupid for reasons of plot. That's where I start getting a bit, uh, you know, where okay. it starts getting derogatory. Same way Bimbo gets tossed around. If it's, you know, the, when it's that level of himbo, I start like, ah, I don't well, really no, like those this. Are himbo souls. Those aren't himbos. Those are himbo souls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If there's a distinction, himbo. I've always heard yeah, there, the same term like being a whole used. Graph, yeah. Like outlining like the differences and stuff. But yeah, no, that's a himbo really? soul. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Yeah, a himbo soul is someone because yeah. a himbo soul, the difference between a himbo and a himbo soul is a himbo soul is not liked because they are just aggressively stupid. Like, mm -hmm. um, but let's see, I don't, has anyone seen the, the DuckTales reboot? The, the, the Witch reboot? DuckTales? <laughs> no, no, I haven't I have seen not. the DuckTales. Okay. I didn't know there was one. There was. It was, it's so good. Um, David Dennett plays Scrooge. Oh my god, mm -hmm. I need to it's, watch this now. It's so good, but there's a character later on who sees like this evil buff rooster guy, and he's a himbocil because he's evil. Even though he's buff and stupid, he's evil and he treats people terribly, and he uses mm -hmm. his stupidity as an excuse to be like violent and stuff. Yeah, that's a so, himbocil. What? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so himbos are lovable, sweet, and good. Like they are nothing but mm -hmm. like fluffy love. Like, they're not, you can't hate them. Mm -hmm. And anyone yeah, who makes we, fun we of We love himbos himbo and bimbos. We don't like himbosils and, and bimbosils. Yeah. Okay, yes. I, I, can, I can back up that distinction. I, I'll okay. back up that distinction. I'll okay. be okay with himbos. Because if you're mean to a himbo and they are perfect like Kronk, then you're a villain. Oh, I could never be fun. mean to Kronk. Kronk is just too <laughs> pure. I love Kronk. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um... I'm gonna go over here just because I do not want to heck over Ivar, but I also don't want to go to the blue. And then nobody right? wants to talk to that guy. Now I might have to fuck over Ivar. <laughs> you might have to. Or I'll talk Sorry. to. I might talk to Star Lord. <laughs> Star Lord. <laughs> when you reach Liam and Damien's table, you find it absent of food but covered in paperwork. Lucky. <laughs> Uh, I think it'd be more Octavia. I think it'd be more oh, bimbo imbecile. Oh, okay. Do we really need all these special forms? Can't we write death threats on <laughs> regular paper? The last time, Damien. Substantive change within an administrative system requires mastery of the mechanisms of bureaucracy. Wow. I'm clicking. Hold on. Uh. What if we wrote the death threats on really fancy paper? I like how Damien thinks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Liam turns to address you. As you can see, my mastery of real politic has caused me to embrace an unlikely ally in my quest for reform. <laughs> me? No, I think he's Damien, have... but he might turn to you oh. and be like, No okay, idea okay. what he's saying. Yeah. I just want the cafeteria food to stop being so fucking boring. That's fish amazing. sticks doesn't do it for him, That's apparently. Food. Maybe it's not fish sticks today. Maybe not for him. Mm. Maybe he has a special diet. Oh, true. 
You see, our interests are aligned. I too desire a menu less pedestrian. Didn't you have a whole thing about food being pointless? Yeah, sure. I thought you didn't Either like way, food. we're stuck on the last bit. You know, we want the menu to change, but we don't know what to change it to. Mm. Ooh. Yes, we have indeed encountered a culinary blog. Perhaps you can suggest something appropriately artistic. Uh, this is a horrible idea. I don't know about you guys, but every night uh, it's a struggle between me and my partner to figure out who has to pick what we're having for dinner. <laughs> I hate it. that. I, I never want to pick. You ask me, oh, hey, what do you want for dinner? And I'm just be like, food. Yeah, and I'm like, and I'm like, well, what do you want? And he's like, no, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't know what I want. I was, I'm terrible at making decisions, and I'm used to not being asked what I want. So, <laughs> I never oh. learned to make them. It's like, if you give me, like, a couple options, I can usually pick. But, like, if you're just like, hey, right. what do you want? And there's, like, just the wide field of everything, I can't I can't choose. I was going to say really? I, I know how to choose. Like, I have all my meals up planned for a week. But I'm like, but if I have a partner, now suddenly that changes because I'm trying to think about what they want as well. Mm -hmm. So that, that, yeah. that changes yeah. dramatically. Yeah, I also, I also had a partner once who um, all he ever wanted was Chinese food. Oh. But he made me guess. That's what he wanted. Uh, like, I'd be like, what do you want? And I'd be like, oh, let's get burritos. And he'd be like, oh, I don't want no, burritos. I don't want burritos. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, okay, so let's get pizza. Uh, I don't want pizza. Exactly. Oh, he'd pizza. wait until I said Chinese food. Oh, uh, like, yeah, what? yeah, let's get Chinese food. That sounds good. And it's like, God damn it. Just why didn't you just say so? The first exactly. Use your words. Okay. So do you want to appeal to Liam or to Damien? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one Minimalism. seems pretty obvious which answer goes to which person. Yeah. Uh, the knives sound more fun. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> big, so we're gonna pick big knives. Bowl of knives. Bowl of knives. knives. Now that's interesting. Hmm. Knives. Seems a bit di didactic. It's better mean? than parsley. We'll see how didactic. Uh, it is when I'm stabbing faces with a bowl of full of knives. <laughs> the face. Perfect. <laughs> you don't know what didactic means, do you? I don't know. I've never pronounced didactic. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what it means either. So I don't know either. Does anybody know what it means, chat? No. I, we're we're all Damien in this yeah. moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, but I sh do know how fun it'll be to watch a bunch of nerds try to finish a bowl with a knife bowl. <laughs> Damien's application to have add knives to the menu is a success. He <laughs> starts holding daily knife eating contest. Wonderful. Uh, there are no winners except Damien, who thinks this hilarious, and you, who came up with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now it's me. I have no money, so do I fuck over Ivor, or do I go to Star Lord? Mm. I won't I fuck over either. Ivor. Yeah, I won't yeah. fuck him up. Okay, good. So nice. I appreciate you and little things you do every day. <laughs> I woke up and chose peace. You're about <laughs> to take a bite of your sandwich when some douchebag rips a hole in the fabric of reality. <laughs> Gotta hype myself up. It is I, the interdimensional prince. I have searched far and wide for a hero capable of solving a most fiendish riddle for me. The riddle of... Why you're single? How to get my TV to switch from HDMI 1 to HDMI 2. I've tried everything short of actually using the remote control. You know, it kind of bothers me how well Ivar is at a place in the sky. <laughs> yeah, I amazing. know, right? I, how do you think I feel? <laughs> you acting. heave a deep sigh and accompany the prince to his dimension where you solve his problem by using the remote control. You truly are both wise and generous. As a thank you, please allow me to teach you one of my kingdom's customary rituals. Perhaps laser communication might interest you? Or reverse baptism? <laughs> what? <laughs> or eggs? The choice is yours. Fuck that. Let's make up our own ritual. Or how about a ritual where you give me a pile of money and go away? Money? I mean, you don't have money, so maybe he'll actually give you some money? 
Well, I want to know what is the, our own ritual. What that's would that fair. do? I'm actually curious too. I just didn't want to like push you towards that. <laughs> yeah, no money. See, that's the money is. I understand what money will do. Maybe I'll get a bit of money. But what is my own ritual? It could be anything. It could even be money. Ah, <laughs> oh, we have a ritual for this. The ritual of making up rituals. That's why we have so many dumb and bad rituals. <laughs> First, we get incredibly high on interdimensional weed. Then we pretty much do whatever we want and then make it illegal for people not to do that thing once a year. Good to you. Why did they you have get... to make him kind of cool? Like. <laughs> yeah, you guys get ripped and invented a holiday called Shrimp Christmas. It's Christmas, <laughs> but everybody just gets stockings full of shrimp delivered by a giant shrimp. It becomes so popular that it leaks over to your dimension. Where it replaces actual Christmas, you gain plus four creativity. Ooh, not bad. Nice. nice. But like, why yeah, does he have to like give that guy any sort of redeeming episode? Like, does he get to ripped and you guys invent shrimp Christmas? That yeah. sounds pretty cool to me. Yeah. See, now everyone, everyone is hating on him. My character who hasn't met him up to this point is like, I'll go talk to him. Yeah, you're and like, we have a good cool. time. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, have a good high time. beyond all godly reason, and invent a whole new holiday. He's, he's cool when he's not hitting on people. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should you just take chill your on seats that. And if you didn't know any better, you would say that it seems like Veer and Polly are almost more interested in their phones than they are in you. Oh, it's the Findom oh. event, I think. Ooh. Yes. Is... Step on me, mommy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. yes. Secrets not yes. here. Uh, <laughs> and you do know better. And you know that, yes, that is exactly what's happening right now. <laughs> it's nothing personal, Ibar. It's yep. just that Polly and I are very engrossed in texting our financial slave. I oh my god. This already. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty hard to compete with some guy whose fetish is buying you anything you want. That's like my fetish too. Not buying things for people, having people buy things for me. Duh. I don't know, and here I am with the one money. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh no. Uh -oh. I just had I just had to buy the lusty Argonian maid. <laughs> I mean, you have to buy the manga. I mean I bet you it's pretty spicy, so. Yeah. Good thing he's rich enough to take care of both of us. You know what they say? True friendship is sharing secrets and financial slaves. <laughs> Is that true? I don't know if that's a know. true statement. I don't think so. That might be well, like chapter five in How to Win Friends and Influence People by that by what's his face. I mean, I don't remember if the author. you think about it this way, streamers do kind of share their yeah. financial slaves. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I want to clip you saying that now. I, I have it on I thought the VTubers were the financial slaves to Skeb. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's yeah. just Scarlet. Like, that's just Scarlet. <laughs> Scarlet. Uh, it's just financial slaves all the way to the top, man. Yeah, it's just financial it's just slaves like... all the way down. <gasps> it's a pyramid scheme! It, no, <laughs> if you ever think about it, aren't we all financial slaves to the government? Ah, uh, that's mm. depressing. Anyway, um, taxes. I got depressed when I lose 25% of my income every <laughs> month to the, go to the government. Still, I do worry that this arrangement might not be sustainable. What happens if he runs out of money? Our cash flow instantly stops. Besides, being handed everything you want on a platter... In this case, the platter being an online money transferring platform... ...is almost... ...boring? Yeah, I get that. It's a little less boring when you're on as much acid as I am right now, but I see what you mean. <laughs> I fucking love Polly. Hold on. Hold on. So good. Can Polly? ghosts get okay. high? Polly Apparently, can. yeah. Apparently. Really? Yeah. See, Polly is the bimbo of the game. Yeah, and yeah, I, I love her, her for it. And, yeah. and I love her, yeah. If we could somehow turn this into a business venture, then maybe it would get interesting. And we could continue to profit even after he's gone broke from catering to our every whim. 
I mean, how interesting do you think business actually is? Since he's so obsessed with us, we should just <laughs> tell him to do something totally insane and see if he does it. I don't know. A weirdo giving away his money and getting into hijinks is great and all, but I want to start making real money. And I think money is fine and all, but my favorite currency is chaos. Oh, I so. I think bad. it's just Scarlet. <laughs> I so. Bad. It's just dead Scarlet. <laughs> hmm. Seems like the ladies are at a very exciting crossroads. Maybe a random bystander can give them a nudge in the right direction. Tell him to marry a llama. I, I don't. I don't even need to think about it. <laughs> Sorry, taking a sip of water. Yeah. OMG, yes! That is everything to me. <laughs> I actually had a dream just like that one time. Except it wasn't a llama, it was an alpaca. And it wasn't a wedding, it was a bar mitzvah. This, I I'm mean, so that's so scarily close. close. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. scarily close. Wait, wait, which one is the one getting bar mitzvah? The right, alpaca or right. someone else? Was it Polly or was it the alpaca? It's probably the alpaca. Oh. Maybe. Maybe she'll tell us. Maybe. But other than ah. that, it was exactly <laughs> the same. Wait, no, that still means there's a financial slave in that bar mitzvah dream. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think this is my scene. I'm going to go check on my illegal law firm. Catch you weirdos later. Wait, how do you have an illegal law firm? Don't ask questions. <laughs> I'm texting the financial slave right now, telling him to marry a llama. It's already typing. Let's see. Ivar, will you? Oh my, hold on. You will never believe this. It turns out the financial slave has actually been talking to a llama for a few months now through a llama monster dating site. What fresh hell? <laughs> oh. I love this. He says he's a commitment phobe and never really defined the terms of his relationship with the llama. And he keeps introducing the llama as a friend. But he knows... No, it's because he was just scared of being hurt. Aww, surprisingly wholesome. Aww. I'm gonna feel bad for this guy now. Yeah. He's taking this as a sure sign that it's time to be brave and fit to the llama. And they're headed to City Hall for the ceremony right now. Aww, Aww. Mazel tov. Good for them. Of course, he says he'll have to take his leave for... Of our uh, group chat, let's... since his part and wallet now belong to another. Victor, just right, sorry. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't turn into a, dra a drama llama. Oh, oh. might be. <laughs> Aww, isn't that the sweetest love story you've ever heard? I'm so glad we got to make it happen together. Aww. That is the sweetest love story you've ever heard. Or something. But hey, maybe you and Polly will end up having a love story of your own. Ooh. Yeah. That's straight places. Do people want to just make it random? Random. Yeah, let's do random. I heard yeah. Aurora, Scar, me, Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, sure. Ivor, where do you want to go? Okay, so I want to bump up the charm, so I'm gonna go to the gym. You finally get to you go to the go, gym. You want to go pump up the I finally get to go to the gym. That day in Epic Dark. Oh, look at your panties! Places. I got a max oh, yeah. one. Ooh. Ooh. But the match isn't as important as the human interactions within it. I'm sorry, the human interaction? Right? I thought this was Monster School. The human interaction? It's still human interaction, just done by monsters. You're at the you're at your peak when you decide to go for the overkill and wink at one of your teammates. Oh. Wink. 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 He's totally mesmerized. It's the most epic wink ever. <laughs> nice. Damn. 
You knew how you know how to win over people's hearts. You gain plus two charm. Nice. <laughs> You're wandering down the hallway, reading Dragon Heat as discreetly as you can, which apparently isn't very, because Polly and Vera clock this immediately. <laughs> Ugh. Are you actually reading erotic fanfiction about dragons? Yes! Because we love <gasps> Dragon Heap. I'm all about 19th century Russian literature. But a ghost girl can't say no to some erotic fanfic, am I right? <laughs> oh, he's into it. I've literally been working on my Morgana Von... Breaststrike? <laughs> Breaststrike. <laughs> Breast Reich. I wrote it like ostrich. Uh, Breast Reich cosplay all week. <laughs> Breast Reich, I like that better. <laughs> Breast Reich, yeah, we'll go. Let's go. Breast Reich. It's not an ostrich, it's a Breast Reich. Don't worry about why. <laughs> Wink. Wink. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Polly. I don't. I've never. <laughs> oh, okay, the fine, blush. I okay, fine. I may read Dragon Heat. But don't go around just telling people. Cute! Look at her. so adorable. The dummy mommy blush. Ugh. We're clearly safe with him. A fellow dra Dracophile can always be trusted. Gailey mm. for life. Oh my god. <laughs> mm. Are you sure? I mean, anyone into Dragon Heat must have a wicked mind. 297 chapters and counting, and it still manages to amaze me with all new levels of wrong. What the fuck? 97 chapters. What the fuck? I now imagine the book, it's all in that one book. It just keeps yeah. updating Kinky in shit. your hands. Kinky shit. That's oh, yeah. that's not a that's not a fucking erotic novel. That's a textbook. What the That's a tome. Yeah, right? I fucking love it. The Draco Nomicon. <laughs> Draco Nomicon. Oh my god. Draco Sexicon. <laughs> I'm sorry, if we do the Evil Dead game now, we're never going to refer to it as a Necronomicon. <laughs> it's just going to be the ne Draco Nomicon. Draco Nomicon, let's summon some dragons. Yes, for, I for must admit, I'm a scalies. bit vanilla when it comes to my fave chapters. Okay. Mine is the one where Harold <laughs> McDonghard, Horus the Hydra, and the deranged Draco de la Corte have to rest at an inn after the Choking Bay adventure. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Choking <laughs> bay. Only to discover they have just one available bed. Of course. Of course. Oh, a classic trope. There's only one bed. The classic fanfic trick that never fails. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, that one was good. I personally prefer the one where Vanessaria unmasks her masked savior after a passionate kiss, only to discover it's herself. Oh. And then they totally bang. Gasp. Le gasp. I'm not a fan of time travel, but sign me up for some good self-cest. Oh my god. Is that I not just masturbation? Everyone in the chats, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not. I'm not. This is what you came for. <laughs> This, this is what we're all here for. Oh God, we're all um, here for this. Amen. <laughs> oh. What about you, Ibar? What's your favorite story arc? Oh my God. Good <laughs> luck. Mm. Nothing to worry about. You'll just be revealing your inner kinks to us. No pressure. No pressure, indeed. Unless so you want Polly the pressure. More in which case, there could be pressure. <gasps> This exclusive right. chapter mm -hmm. I've written myself. Easy. The sex caliber arc, where they want to discover the chosen one who can control the mythical sex caliber dildo. And they oh have a God. super orgy so everyone can have their turn with the dildo. <clears throat> what about this exclusive chapter I've written myself? Okay. Okay. I actually have to think about this. Yeah. Ali said she was more into the vanilla stuff, didn't she? Right. Yeah, but I feel like this could go either way. Yeah, yeah. no, that dildo thing, that could be Polly's alley. Like, that's a lot of fun. 
Yeah, and, like, she's talked about or being in orgies before. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, then also, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the exclusive chapter, I feel like Polly wouldn't necessarily care about exclusivity where Vera might. Vera, yeah. Yeah, because she's, like, exclusive means money, so. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's go with Excalibur. Yeah. Okay. Go that's, what, that's what I would go with, too. Yeah! So fun. Yeah. Well, right? How can we forget about the sex Hollowbird scene arc? With 290 with 297 chapters, it's rather easy to forget some arcs. Tell that to One Piece fans. <laughs> I, I just started I watching the, the anime, by the way. Oh, so have I. I'm, I'm, like, I'm on I'm like episode 104. Oh, I'm like eight episodes in. Literally just started. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wish me you're luck. At the way beginning. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to love it. So you're going to catch up to me and then we can discuss. Yes. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> uh, no. Of course. No, no, no spoilers. Yeah. But that one was epic. The tension and thrill of wondering who would be chosen, who would be the chosen one. Each time someone used the magical dildo? <laughs> I must admit, it was very lubricating. Oh, oh my. Oh. Damn. Okay. All right. Get it, girl. Fuck. Also, I should praise the fact that it was entirely written from the viewpoint of the dildo. Oh my god. Yo. Wow. Oh my god. I was actually kind of impressed. I'm not going I, to I, that was like a Shyamalan twist there. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Dear wow. Lord. Who would have thought? Ivar here is such a kinky deviant. Maybe we should do our own sex caliber trial one day, huh? Ooh. My. Damn. No, that's just me. She wants to peg you, though. <laughs> Maybe she just wants to share a dildo with you, and you get pegged by the dildo. Oh, yeah, error. You know. Disconnected. What? Oh no! Who's oh. oh no! No! Like for the game, or...? Oh, I see. Okay, I'm I got back here. to the main menu. What? No! Is it gonna make us start all over? Uh, I hope not. I hope not. Maybe? Oh, oh is it 223? Uh, no, it's, it's changed ID to 630. Oh no. Uh, hold on, let me look up. If there's a way to resume, we are only yeah. two and a half hours, but because we're already two, no. we're already pretty far in. No, we'll never know what happens. I the sex caliber broke the game. <laughs> it's too powerful. Too powerful. Can um, we resume, or is it gone forever? Hold on. Because I, I never like that. I've never even heard of that happening. Like obviously with online play, like of course that can happen. I've just never heard of it. Yeah. Well, I were. We should have known this after the golfing incident. Um. <laughs> hold on. Maybe next time we can just do a short one and we can like speed run yeah. for the same people. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. But the uh, problem is that I mean, it's obviously, I'd rather we can yeah. get it back, but. No, apparently there isn't. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, no, okay, I know how this ends. Okay, ready? Okay, uh -huh. Ivar, Ivar had a lovely night with with a very kinky end with Polly um, at prom. They went together and it was a wonderful night and it was filled with many mm -hmm. kinks and it was wonderful. I got to go to, some, I got to go to prom with Scott and mm -hmm. he was just the best himbo date ever, and we had a fantastic time. And then afterwards, we went out for fish sticks. And then yeah. um, a Miranda, being royalty, decided that um, she's better than any everyone, and she could go with two dates. And so Aurora and 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 Arcane both went with Miranda, and then um, yes, had, yeah. had a very royal three way. Ta da! <laughs> that sounds good for me. Um. The end. Everybody had a happy ending. Or three. It was an ending. <laughs> well, I've also realized something. That I think the only way to do the second term DLC is to do it through single player. Really? Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. Because is there's it? no... When I go in or under online, there's no button to do... 
No, I think you can do it because I have definitely played with the um, DLC with multiplayer because I've, um, what's her name, Zoe's in the DLC. And I know I've had yeah. to fight people for her. Hey, uh, is that online or with screen share? Because we could do it uh, via uh, so screen I'm gonna be share. Octavia just said that they're pretty sure the second term is multiplayer. It would make sure, like, if, uh, if all you know, the rest would of assume. it is multiplayer, yeah, it would make I sense as multiplayer. can't see a way to host it from here. Mm. I didn't see an option when I was booting up the game. Or like when uh, I was hosting the game for maybe. that. It might be a situation where everyone has to have it. If yeah, you're oh, I don't think maybe. I have the DLC. Yeah, maybe. that would do it. So okay. everyone well, I, can definitely get, I can definitely get the, the DLC for next time. That won't be a problem. The second term, maybe we'll could you try doing a short game of the second term mm -hmm. uh, yeah. before going on to Monster Camp. And hopefully we'll actually get to prom that time. Ooh, you, there, was a, know, ooh, there was a weekend event with Zoe? Wait, who's Zoe? Oh, is Zoe, Zoe the one that's Eldritch. like the Eldritch? Yes. I yeah. haven't seen pictures. I haven't seen She's her in game great. yet. Wait, okay. She's amazing. She writes fanfic and um, is absolutely adorable and is a total nerd. Aww. Yeah. She's so cute. Do I have pictures of Zoe? Uh... But um, I mean, I'll still be going after my, my, my wolfy boy, but... I just need to, like, it, I will branch out after I get one prom date. I have yet to get a prom date. <laughs> The reality in reality collapsed on itself to prevent you from yeah, getting. Yeah, I know. Your date I still haven't got a prom date. This game hates me. <laughs> Vera didn't want me. Damien didn't want me. Now the game doesn't want me. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. Yeah. The it's sex caliber happened. was too strong. Sex caliber but, like, broke the all game. All of my, all of my auxiliary stuff just decided no. Really? You don't. You don't get. You don't get to do anything. Like my keyboard wasn't working. Ooh. My my headphones were straight up just like. Oh no! Maybe that's it? why it disconnected. Yeah, maybe something that's locked up. That's funny, Steve. I couldn't. I could do anything. I think. I think the game. I think my computer knew. It knew I was making progress. Um, the sex Excalibur oh, broke okay. your computer. That's how strong sex it is. Your it computer got fucked by sex Excalibur. It did. It got pegged. Sorry. It, you know, it got jealous of your relationship with Polly. It was just like, uh, you gotta end it. You had now. to get in the middle of it, yeah? By cutting cutting everything, the auxiliary feed, everything. Shut it down. Uh, well, so say it's wanna... Excalibur. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, do we want to do our sign offs for the evening? Yeah, yeah, yeah we will do our sign offs. That's... I'm sorry. No, that's oh, fine. Oh, don't, no, it's not your time. fault. I had a great time this as well. Really it gives us the excuse to do it again. Yeah. I really want to do this again. It was great. Yeah, yeah. Now you have to do it again with me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this was really fun. No, thank you all for coming. Yeah. And thank you for joining in on this crazy idea I had. Yeah. So why don't we start from, uh, why don't we start with uh, Seraphim and move that way? So that way I can be left. Thank you, <laughs> I had such a fun time. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for coming to the stream. I hope everyone had a wonderful time. If anyone is in other people's chats and not in mine, uh, I am Seraphim or slash Arcane Kitsune for the next eight days before I change my name. Uh, and yeah, we're working our way towards for, affiliate. For we are on 16 out of 50. And at 50, I also have to get a maidress. So that is. Yeah, and I've, I've seen goal. it. It's so it's cute. It I really want to do. Yeah, if we ever, if you we ever have like an actual in-person meetup, I vote. I propose that everybody dresses in this in this maid uniform because it's the cutest goddamn thing. I love it so much. It's so cute. Uh, hell no, I'm getting roped into it. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll bring everyone else down with me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yes, no, so you look adorable. Oh, thank you. I see Victor saying push for maid. I mean affiliate. Yes. <laughs> so please, yes. If you have a free follow to throw around, please consider following me, and I hope you enjoyed the content. Uh, on to Scar. Hi! Bye! Um, I, I gotta say, first of all, I was like, if any of you were in chats other than mine, first of all, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that me. <laughs> oh! I was waiting for it, I was like, oh, that was really nice. Um, my brain, I can't, it's, I blame the game for making my brain be so deviant, you know? So. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> Um, but anyways, yeah, I'm a werewolf. I am relatively new to the Rediverse, to the group. Um, the reasons why are 
going to be super secret for a, a while, but I do hope to see all around because um, I'm still going to be using my Vroid for a good long, uh, for a good while. Um, mm -hmm. Secret project, secret project. Um, secret project. Yeah. Oh, then, secret um, projects. So my my main channel on Twitch is Scarberry, uh, spelled how it sounds. And then I actually I started an ASMR channel that I do two days a week right now. Scarlet underscore ASMR. If that's something you're into, I've been having a lot of fun with that too. So might as well shout out that one too. Because I just started like two weeks ago. <laughs> oh yeah um but anyways yeah i hope everybody has a great rest of your weekends everybody that watched i hope that you had fun i had a ton of fun yeah not to interrupt just before it goes to ivor but on the home page i just see a secret dulan character with a baseball cap is going around on my screen oh yeah it's really cool like okay continue on please i just noticed <laughs> for the first time and he looked really cute uh, hi, uh, <laughs> my name is uh, Evergreen. Um, I am pre debut. Uh, my rigging is ready, but my heart isn't. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stream sometimes uh, here on Twitch. Uh, to find me on, on the twitter.com. Uh, yeah. About it. Yeah, you just uh, released your full design recently, right? It's I so did. Good. I did. I did put up my uh, my reference sheet yesterday. If you're into beards, if you're into you need, beards, you need to go check it out. Yeah. 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 Beard tuber. Mm -hmm. Boy, have I got good news for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the beard is rigged for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> oh. It is immaculate. I guess that makes it my turn. Yes. Um, Hello to everybody who is not in my chat. My name is Aurora Cosmic. Uh, spell Aurora underscore Cosmic. Um, I I am a uh, what's that thing you do? Variety. I know how to <laughs> word. Uh, I'm a variety streamer who mostly focuses on RPGs and uh, has a very specific taste towards visual novels and dating sims with very beautiful people. So kind of like Monster Prom. Um, currently, I'm not streaming on a specific schedule. I'm mostly doing gorilla streams. And um, currently I'm part of the Rediverse because I'm waiting on a model. But I'm currently uh, streaming using a Vroid model and um, you can come hang out with me and, uh, you know, kiss kiss some kiss some hotties. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who yeah. wouldn't want to kiss some hotties? I know, right? right? <laughs> I, I think everyone here is like, I think, yeah, Ivor just got the model. Everyone else is waiting on models. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. I'm just making do with a Fox picture. Great. It's a cute <laughs> box. Look at him. He's playing on his computer. Little tippy tappies oh, on the keys. It made more sense when I was going by Kitsune. But... <laughs> you know what? Just add some wings on there. It'll be fine. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'll just go. pencil on some just wings. Put there. a halo or something. Actually, that's not a bad shout. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is really fun. We need to do this oh, again this soon. Great. Yes, yeah, sure. absolutely, 100%. Mm -hmm. And it's okay if it goes offline again. We'll just make up stories. It'll be fine. Yeah, making up yeah. stories. We'll just okay. make up our own endings. It'll be great. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my computer got a little too excited. I mean, understandable. <laughs> you got hot and Popped steamy in too. here. <laughs> but yes. Gamer, thank you for the follow. Goodbye, goodbye everyone. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Okay. Um, Carol, thanks so much for hanging out with us. I know that this was a different stream. It's, it's you know, a little bit shorter than normal. And uh, I am sorry. Um, hey, gamer. Um, I am really sorry that the, the game crapped out like that. That it has that didn't happen last time. Um, so I'm really sorry. Um, I was really hoping for um, the actual ending. I feel like we were only like three quarters of the way through. Um. But we'll, we'll probably do this again. That was a lot of fun. So I can't imagine that we won't. Um, we'll be going for Scott again. He is such a he is such a nice little himbo. It's a nice big himbo. I'm doing fine. Um, I know that this stream was at a very different time than normal. Um, so like this, this is it. This is the stream for today. I'll be back to normal time tomorrow night, though. I promise. Um, tonight, later on tonight, I have some things that I have to do before. 
but I'll post in the Discord. I kind of want to try playing the Evil Dead game, so I will let you guys know when I do that if anybody has it and would like to join. And, um... Really, Typhonius, that's so interesting. Weird. Um, I'm going to post in the Discord in my announcements channel. I'm going to post links to everybody's channel that was here. Um, because I didn't have a bot that could post it throughout. I really need to just fix that. I have a bot downloaded and I haven't finished setting it up, but I will finish setting it up, I swear. Um, but Aurora and Ibar and, uh, Cephalim are just, they're really great people and I'm really happy that I've gotten to meet them, so... Um, definitely recommend following them, going and checking out their stuff. I'll post the links as soon as I go offline. Promise. Um, and then, what? Do you guys want to raid somebody? We can raid somebody. I know it's like a different time for us. Repost on the Star Wars Discord? No, absolutely you can. Um, I just need to get the links in there. Let us see who is still live. I don't know if any of them are going to be staying live. Um, let's see, uh, ooh, Failmore is playing Evil Dead the game. Let's go say hi to Failmore. He's good people. He is usually a speedrunner for Resident Evil. Um, really chill streamer, really, really chill streamer. And, um, right now he's playing Evil Dead the game, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's gonna be it for today, and I'll see you normally for Minecraft, like, normal times tomorrow. Um, we're gonna keep trying to progress the game. We're gonna go back to the blaze, uh, the nether, nether fortress and fight the blazes. Um, yeah, no, I'm really excited. So we'll be back to that tomorrow. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m. And don't forget, I will post an announcements, the links to every single person's, uh, channel. Go follow them. They're great people. And I, and I'm really happy that I've met them. So take care of yourselves. I love y'all. And I will see you, uh, tomorrow night. All right. Bye. Mwah.